All right, can you explain to the people watching the importance of Jimmy Ward and Jaquaski Tart to this defense? You've been yeah. trying to explain for a long time, but I think it's evident right now. Yeah, I, this I, is your I, that. I thought personally, and I saw, I thought about it when I watched it live. I thought about it when I watched the broadcast when I got home, and I thought about it when I did my quick run through the film uh, last couple of days just so that I could be ready to do the show. I, I thought their biggest issue in the run game was the safeties. A lot of those big runs – Jimmy Ward tackles the guy for eight yards and you don't notice it, but that's because he's so good at recognizing his fit. He's so on top of his fit and he ensures, and same thing with Jaquaski Tartan, they come down, they take a great angle to the football and they make a clean tackle. The first touchdown run to James Conner, Talanova Hufunga flowed the long, wrong way and he just didn't have enough speed to make it to the sideline and James Conner scores an 18 yard touchdown, but or might've been 18. I don't know. I'm just, putting on a number, but 13. Um, Jimmy Ward, Jimmy Ward tackles that for a 10 yard game. Then those are the little things that make a massive difference. And then you look at the two big plays, right? The double pass that Tavon Wilson gave up. There's no way Jaquaski Tart gives that up. Um, they, they, they were all over the double pass. They had a trick play and they all were on top of it. And Tavon Wilson just got bullied at the catch point um, by, I don't even know who that tight end was. And um, uh, uh, the um, corner route that Hufanga gave up the one, big throw or the one, you know, NFL throw that Colt McCoy made all day. I mean, Dante Whitner posted the perfect breakdown. And who, well, who am I to say anything more than what he said? He actually played the position. Funga just got lost in space and he's moving his feet in the wrong direction. And the guy just runs straight by him. Those things don't happen with Jimmy Ward and Jaquaski Tart. And, you know, I don't want to write off Hufunga. He's a rookie. Who knows where his career is going to go? But, you know, a lot of people hyped him up immediately, said he should start over Ward. He should start over Tart, blah, blah, blah. These, this is the same type of trash that was happening. And, you know, I think it goes beyond the fans. I think the media also um, is responsible for this. Not you, Grant, but there's other certain members in the media who, Got a good don't, story. who don't understand these things and they write these things. And this is the kind of things why, you know, you see in Adrian Colbert starting in 2018. And Adrian Colbert's a nice guy. Fans all love him. He's nowhere near the player that Jimmy Ward and Jaquaski Tart are. There should have been no reason why he should have been the starting safety. He was a terrible starting safety in 2018. That's why he was cut in 2019 while playing the same safety position. Um, Those two guys, how solid they are, how clean they are, how assignment sound they are, how versatile they are. I mean, you saw in the defense uh, with Wilson and Hufunga, there were, they didn't put the safeties in man. Ward and Tart do that every game. There was no fire zones or anything creative from D'Amico Ryans. Well, they had to protect Hufunga, who can't do those type of things. And when you see those things, uh, it's really hard to understand. And I, I think it's because, you know, if somebody other than Grant, you know, if writers every day wrote a positive thing about Jimmy Ward and his contributions, then all of a sudden people would get it ingrained in their mind. Oh, Jimmy Ward's a great player, blah, blah, blah. But because they don't do that for him, I think, and same thing with Jaquaski Tart, it's tough to say, but... Those guys really are fantastic. And, you know, they don't make cause in as many turnovers as some other guys. I well, attribute what happens some, of that to luck, some of that to scheme. And then some of it is on them, too. They've had opportunities to make plays that they haven't. They, they tell you that, too. But at the same time, the way they play, how clean it is, how solid it is, how good they are against the run in the pass, you're not going to find a lot of safeties that can do those things. And if Chikwaski Tart walks this offseason and Hufanga has to be the starter – and if he has to start at any point in games that Jimmy Ward can't play, the Niners are going to be in big trouble because the only reason Hufunga's first start, in my opinion, was very successful is because Jimmy Ward, basically, if you have a guy that can do everything at the level Jimmy Ward can and is so solid at everything, you can hide Hufunga successfully. Well, if you put him next to a guy like Tavon Wilson, you know, who's a solid special teamer, I appreciated the fact that he, he was the one guy who seemingly got in Josh Norman's face and was upset about the Josh Norman's stupidity. So, like, I respect the hell out of Tray Tavon Wilson from that standpoint. But if you have a guy you know who's a career teams type guy and he has to start next to Hufunga, who's very little in school. Uh oh. Vish, we're losing you. Vish, where'd you go? Okay. We're going to let Vish come back. He'll be back in a minute. Oh, he's back. Yo! I was right going. Where did I get cut out? I don't know. You're on a roll. Oh, about how uh, Hafanga has to start next year. The Niners are in trouble. Yeah, if, if he has to start, especially if it's not next to Ward, with a guy like Wilson, you know, who isn't uh, uh, 
uh, who's more of a journeyman special team or backup safety type, the Niners will be in major trouble. And to me, they're going to be in major trouble on Monday night if Jimmy Ward doesn't play. Though they're the Rams and McVay, they're going to take big advantage of those two safeties. And again, I'm not saying Hufunga is bad. Like I think Hufunga has proven, even in a short time, that he is an NFL player and he might have a really long NFL career if he doesn't have injuries at like the way Taewon Wilson has had as a backup safety stellar special teamer who can come in in certain packages and blitz because he's instinctual, takes good angles to the ball, and is a very good tackler. But we got to stop respect disrespecting Jamie Ward and Jaquaski Tart acting like other safeties can come in and do what they do because we've tried it with Adrian Colbert. We've tried it with Tavon Wilson. We've tried it with Talanova Hufunga. We've tried it with Tarverius Moore. We've tried it with Marcel Harris. We keep trying to say these other names and these other names are nowhere near as good as those two players.